Reach is pulling out all the stops for the Boyle family. I didn't think there'd be tall boys patrolling here tonight. Watch yourself, Corvo. They don't fool around. The good news is, once you get to the party, that mask and yours let you blend right in. Enjoy your evening out with the folk of quality. Better you than me. Is that what you dreamed of? All those months in Coldridge prison while waiting for the executioner? Wealth, beautiful women in the latest fashions, laughing and drinking Tibian wine. And what of the host, Lady Boyle? I can see all her tomorrows, and I know that either she dies tonight at your hand, or she'll live out her days, month after month, year after year, far away, even as her fine clothes wear into tatters and her silken hair gets dull and gray. Half the city can see the lights from the party and they dream of the delights inside. Will you tear it all to pieces? Either way, it's Lady Boyle's last party. So she stopped singing as they passed, and... And they thought she was a witch. You should have seen it. Ran right through the rose bushes and tackled her. Dragged her back to that abbey. And they call us stupid. We had to get a notarized letter from the regent himself to get her back. Invitation, please. Another of their extra fancies. I suppose we've no choice but to play. It's going to be brilliant. It's going to be inexpressibly right this way, sir. If you're not going to have fun, maybe you should go home. I'll Can't struggle say they didn't have it coming. once we locate a lot. Harold takes pride in being difficult. As much as you take in being easy. Shall we go in? Emma insisted we meet her out by the curb. Ah, Mr. Bundy. Just had Another someone here pretending day. to be you. And we'll Welcome. It was fun for a season, but now... What is it tonight? Another party game. Oh my, that's wicked. Who made that mask for you? 
It's exactly like the wanted posters. That's going to cast a pall over the whole evening. I think I'm starting to enjoy myself. Most of the guests are inside. Might be best if you join them. The party's indoors this time. Boyles, hope you have a wonderful time tonight. Careful. We tried for a peek upstairs, and the man on duty is an ass. I should have taught him some manners. This party is a sham. I'm sure. Just doing his job. A party like this, eh? I might have crept in. Things are bad. Excuse me, this my city cousin getting is worse. a monster. Never doubt it. Of course I don't mean you, but people are desperate, and the Boyles are awfully wealthy these days. Nonsense. Waverly just hires officers from the Watch to impress people. Your obsession with the Boyle women. Will it never end? Did you hear about Mrs. Brimsley? You'll never believe oh. this. What is it now? She had her jobber pick up a boy in the street, barely 16 years old. No family left. I thought her interests were confined to her family. I think she ran out of family a while ago. What's it all about? And how do you know this? My servants heard it from hers, naturally. They were sexual rights, I can only assume. Or else, I heard she bathed in her own nephew's blood. Ridiculous! What sort of hygiene is that? It's a ritual for the outsider. To keep them safe. Emma! You could get her sent to the Abbey. Nobody that rich gets sent anywhere they don't want. The Brimsleys made an awful lot of money this past century. Makes you wonder if those rituals work. What happened to the boy? I hear he enjoyed himself very much. For a while. Stop at once! Disgusting! Cardis claims he memorized the litany on the white cliff in a night. Is it possible? Yes, yes. Oh, nasty. Evening, sir. In the bathroom with me? Are you trying for a scandal? Gentleman. I'll have you know I'm as gentle as I need to be in any given situation. <laughs> Bless you. Don't be silly. The rumors say the Boyles practically own your estate. What if I say something disturbing about that mask? You're a scandal in that mask. I like a man with poor judgment. Would you get me a drink? I'd be so grateful. Yes, what most people course. don't remember is, the rats came a half a year before the Empress died. And the plague, too. Are you sure? That's not how I remember it. If something caused this, it's not the Empress's passing. That's what they want you to think. 
watch what you're saying. I say nothing against the Lord Regent. He's the only one holding this together. He'll make us great again. Some of us will be great. The Boils, at least. Now, now. It's just luck they found crystals on their land. And that we can't make the rat lights without them. And we can't get rid of the rats. Rat lights and Welcome whale. Welcome to the Boyle Estate. That's all we live for now. We found out what the Do whales like could them? do, and it made us an empire. This is the beginning of a golden age. Do you know they've dug down and found the ruins of another city under this one? Before the overseers. Before we anything. Have the girl bring food. I bet they thought they were in a golden age, too. You need another drink, friend. And then she has you remember the manners of a farm. Come and entertain me. Thank you so much. Now, how can I thank you? Are you playing Lady Boyle's guessing game? Well, I know for a fact that Waverly's in black tonight. In mourning for her reputation, I expect. Additionally, that he is in red. You seem interesting. I love that mark on the back of your hat. Welcome to my party. I don't believe I've had the pleasure. You should see this as an opportunity. To what? Learn a trade, join the city watch. Your house built its fortune in crisis. You can do so again. Land is worthless now. My buildings are full of corpses and rats. Where's the fortune there? If you want to be beaten, go right ahead. Let your family starve. Sell your wife into prostitution. I'm sure I can get you a good price. You son of a bitch. There's the old pirate spirit. Things are changing too fast to give up just yet. First that nasty mess with the Empress, now the High Overseer's gone. Parliament is shifting. The whole city's turning upside down. I know your mission tonight. We must speak. Privately. Well, at this stage, I don't know who we could beat. But don't you see, we don't need to win a war. Only lose it. Everything's revalued, and we let the Conquerors worry about the problems. Interesting. I'll be informing the Lord Regent of your ideas in the morning. You don't mean... Have another drink, Byron. They don't serve cocktails in Coldridge Prison. <laughs> I was only talking, thinking aloud. As was I, Byron. Now drink up. I'm a friend of Pendleton's, and I've done a few favors for your cause. I know your purpose here tonight. And, how to say this, your target is the woman I love. I swear that if you'll bring her to me unharmed, you will never hear of her again. There's a cellar directly below the kitchen. I'll wait for you there. I'm not proud of this, but surely it's better than seeing her killed. Her name is Waverly. I won't harm her, I swear. I'm a man of means. Just bring her to the cellar, and I will keep her safe with me, forever. Teach him the best made cards, the half-wit. Brought him, I wonder. I do hope it Will wasn't you be leaving the city during the few weeks this year? Undoubtedly. Enjoying yourself? Welcome to the Boyle Estate. No guests past this point. Ooh, scary mask.
Welcome to the Boyle Estate. Okay, move it along. Should we gather for whiskey and cigars tonight? Indeed, I believe so.
She had everything she could ever want, and what could she do with it? Step back, sir. I don't believe we're acquainted. What is it? Oh, really? Tell me. Well done. But you'll have to name all three of us for the cameo. What do you mean you'll save my life? What? Why? Who sent you? Very well. I... I've no wish to die. But I won't wait long. And if you're lying, I'll see you hang. Bring her to me. You found her! Quickly, let's get her on board. At last. Oh, my love. Someday you will understand. You'll never know how happy you've made me. Someday she'll learn to appreciate me. After all, she'll have her whole life. What's he got to say to me? Pendleton is a gutless lying sack of shit. I hope he's paying you well for this. It's damn cold tonight. Hurry up, and let's see what you're made of. Lord Pendleton's representative will select his weapon. A contest of honor will take place between this anonymous gentleman acting for the challenger, Lord Trevor Pendleton, and Lord Shaw, the challenged party. You will each turn and proceed to the marked positions and remain facing away from each other as I count down from three. You may then turn and fire Get on one. with it. I'll kill this fool and we can all go back inside. Sorry, my lord. We shall proceed. Stop. Stand right there. Three. Two. One. And that's another patron dead. What do we do now? It's lucky we're in demand. I hear the Estermonts pay top coin. No use trying them tonight. Let's see if we can find a little brandy. Let the boils clean up the mess.
hope you enjoyed your evening, sir. But we'd best be on our way. Quickly. <laughs>